Welcome to this new tutorial. You are going to see how to use all the features inside Streamlabs Desktop. Streamlabs Desktop is an open broadcaster software OBS, used to record or stream online your audio and video sources with proper encoding. It is available for Windows and Mac OS and it can be used with its free version unless you are looking for more advanced features. The first time you launch Streamlabs, you get help in configuring it, such as connecting any Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or TikTok account, choosing the plan, and setting your webcam and microphones. Then choose any theme and let Streamlabs finish the configuration for you. Once done, the main interface opens. This shows the main editor display above, or canvas, showing what is being presented, the mini feed showing all your most recent events, and several tabs at the bottom, such as the scene and the source selector to manage the canvas content and the audio mixer with the volume meters for all your audio sources detected, such as your system audio and your microphone. On the right, Click on the small arrow to open the stream chat panel with all the upcoming messages from your connected account. If you do not like this interface, you can customize it with Layout Editor in the bottom left corner. You can change the layout, drag and move, or remove any tab, or import others from the left. You can also resize the tabs by dragging their borders. Now you can set your first OBS project. If you are a beginner, you may need to start from a ready theme, such as a template with ready graphic effects, transitions, and scenes for your streaming or recording. You can browse and install the right one from the themes list. Just consider that most of these require a paid Prime plan. Whereas, if you prefer building one from zero, you can always select the Scenes theme on top of the Scene Selector. Each theme comes with several independent scenes, each with its own set of visual and audio sources listed under the Source Selector. Most of these are ready to use, but you can add further sources with the plus button. In this video, we will see just the most important ones. With Media Source, you can import any video file, set the source name and then all its options using Browse to upload it, enabling loop if necessary and adjusting its speed. Whereas, with Image, you can import image files. Streamlabs may suggest several existing sources from the current theme, unless you go for a new source at the bottom. With Video Capture Device, you can include your own webcam, very useful in case Streamlabs hasn't recognized it yet. Use Screen Capture to add several screens, such as any running game, when detected, the entire desktop screen, or any specific window, with or without the mouse cursor. Make sure that the window is not minimized, or you won't be able to see it. This screen capture follows default options. If these are not good, you can add a game capture source for games, display capture for desktop screens, and window capture for software windows. Add a color source to add a flat, solid color and text to add a static piece of text with proper color and content while checking the canvas preview. Whereas, with browser source, you can add and show any online content with its website URL and scene to add an entire scene as a source. To manage any visual source, click on it to select it and drag it on the canvas to move it while checking the distance from the borders and pixels. 
You can also drag from the nodes to resize the source, holding down the Shift key to change the aspect ratio and the Alt or the Option key to crop. Use Ctrl or Command and Z to undo any time. You can also drag up or down any source in the list to adjust the order of visibility in case sources overlap. Besides these sources, Streamlabs comes with useful widgets and alert boxes, such as on-screen elements that enhance the user experience and interaction. For example, you can add a chat box that rolls the messages left from your viewers, or any goal for a live updating progress bar. You can also add any alert box to show whenever any follower subscribes or donates through a very nice in-video animation. You can fully customize its effects with change media and modify the threshold for each specific event. You can also install and use other designs from the alert box library, although most of these require a prime plan. To preview the alert box, simulate a proper event from Test Widget at the bottom. If you still get problems with alert box and widgets, check our dedicated links in the video description. You can also add audio input and output sources, such as microphones and speakers. Once the source is created, the main audio setting dialog opens, showing all the input, output, or widget audio sources with volume level, device source, and options. You do the same from the Audio Mixer tab. From the Source Selector, you can manage all your video and audio sources. Use the Lock button to block any modification on such source and the I button to hide or show it. Above, click on the Minus button to delete the selected source and on the Gear button to edit the properties for the video and the audio source. You can also click on Settings in the bottom left corner to adjust several properties for your OBS project. With Stream, you can connect streaming accounts. With Audio, you set sample rate and stereo channels for the output audio. With Hotkeys, you fix useful shortcuts. And with Appearance, you choose between a night or a day color theme. On Video, Set the frames per second, or FPS, to use and the video resolution, width and height for both the canvas preview and the recorded or streamed output. Make sure to select FPS and size compatible with your system's CPU, GPU, and internet bandwidth. On output, set the constant bitrate, 6000 for Twitch, the encoder, and the audio bitrate while streaming and the path, quality, and file format in case you make recordings. If you are ready, click on Go Live to start streaming your Canvas content with the selected scene and any modification made live. This works even if you put Streamlabs on in the background. You can also open Studio Mode to modify your Canvas content under Edit and make it live only after a cool theme transition. To stop streaming, click on End Stream. Whereas, to start recording your canvas, click on Rec, with or without any streaming in progress. Also, in this case, you can enable the Studio Mode to show your modifications when they are correct. Click again on Rec to stop recording, with the video file saved in the chosen directory path. In case you record and stream, you can click on Selective Recording button to make any source available only when recording, streaming, or both. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to visit our YouTube channel for more amazing and free tutorials.